I had to laugh. I um, remember having a shirt that had a woman in weight, you know, kind of like my age and kind of overweight in that. And, and it said, inside this body is a thin woman screaming to get out. I ate her. Yeah. <laughs> And that, for me, that's kind of been my life, but I'm actually now seeing a lot of different changes in my thinking. I, I am more prone to doing what's good for me and healthy because I like the way it makes me feel. So I'm less likely, other than those moments when I go totally blank and just muscle memory, I go picking up on things. For the most part, that doesn't happen. I plan to what gives me protein and gives me energy because I really like having a full quality day and not ending feeling like a piece of melted cheese on the sofa at night. Even if you're not making that much headway, where are you compared to where you were when you started? Just baby steps, just take baby steps. But please don't automatically, one of the things we have in our thinking is we say, well, I can't do that. Well, I'm not gonna do, do that. Please don't get there. You'd be surprised what you can do when you put your mind to it. And it's well worth the trek to do this. Again, uh, marathon, not sprint. Also plan ahead. You wanna plan ahead. Um, just living by the seat of your pants is not going to get you anywhere except for where you already are. Saying no to yourself really, really works. If saying no to something that's really good to replace it with something. I have organized things. These are my snack containers and my nuts. I make them very easy to access. Okay, these are my nuts, whether they're snack nuts or just regular raw nuts. Uh, these are my kind bars or fig bars or something like that. So if, if it's being a tough day or I, I don't have time to, you know, eat something right then, but I know I'm going to be craving, then I get some of these things that are not going to give me energy and not going to bottom me out. So remember I used to say, I took a, previous ones I took, would take a bag with me while I'm home. You really need to plan for those nights as well. These are now, this one, I gotta show you. So these are little snack size Milky Way, so we don't always have to be angels. I can leave this here because they're not that much of a temptation. I can actually literally only take one and leave it alone. Um, some gluten-free cookies, uh, the crackle breads that I shared with you in the last video. Um, so these things have them handy so you can go and make right choices quickly instead of going to something that's really not going to bring you the satisfaction that you want. Okay, so um, we also have, I told you about prepping. Now when you're making things, um, a lot of people said, I've gotten from a lot of people, that they don't like to have prepping. They don't like to have cutting the onions and peppers and, and all the things that you have to do. Well, make it ahead. You can chop peppers one at a time. You can put them in a processor, um, in a chopper, and process a whole bunch, chop a whole bunch, and then put them in little bags or put them on a, on, on a cookie sheet, freeze them, and then when they're frozen, pop them into a Ziploc bag. So you're, you're, you don't have to do a lot of prep work in order to be able to eat well. Um, now today's uh, recipe is a breakfast burrito that I love quickly. I've told you about the tortilla land. Okay, remember we're going for protein, fast, cheap, easy, healthy. These tortilla lands are so good because you just warm them up in a, in, in a pan, take a hot pan and just cook them on either side and they're like they came out of a restaurant, but they also have very natural ingredients. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six ingredients and there's no chemicals in anything. So that's where you wanna go. I use these for sandwich wraps, breakfast wraps, individual pizzas. There's so many things you can use it for and I just keep it in my dairy drawer. So we've got that. So here we have, we've made one. I'm getting this ahead of time. So we got one. I'm trying to cut down the time here to uh, so you don't have to watch so long to be able to get some good stuff. So I've got my cooked tortilla and I finished making this ahead of time again to cut down the time. What did I do with my spatula? Okay, so I have my cooked tortilla. I took one sausage patty, or you can have two slices of bacon. That actually will give you 60 calories less in doing this, but one, one organic egg, um, a tablespoon of uh, shredded cheese of your choice, and salt and pepper, or if you want to do um, uh, hot sauce. My husband's a hot sauce, sauce man. And all you do is put this in, cook it. Normally I will cook these things cook my um, sausage and my peppers together and get them brown and cooking and then I'll just pour a scrambled egg that's got salt and pepper um, and some hot sauce if you like it in 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 the little battered egg and I'll just pour it over and cook it because it's all going in here anyway when it's cooked then I take the shredded lettuce that shredded cheese and I put it on 
I put the cover over and I shut the pan off so it melts by itself. So this gives you a very quick, and the thing is, you can also make this stuff ahead of time. You can cook it ahead of time and have it like individually portioned or just have it, scoop it out and nuke it and then put it in your tortilla. So it's really not a hard thing. Fold in the sides, so you do that, fold in the sides, just like you would do a burrito, and wrap them. And you have a great breakfast burrito that has 400, let me say, I want to make sure, 406 calories, that seems a lot, but there's 17 grams of protein. So that's really pretty good. And only 28 things of carbs. Have a good one. Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna have this now. See you later.